uh, particularly on our smaller dams, is they didn't put in what we call a core trench. And what you do with the core trench, all that amounts to is you go basically on the center of your dam and they excavate a trench out until they get down to rock, heavy clay, shale, some impervious material. Then you put the clay, uh, the best material that you got on the site, back in there and compact it. And what that does is it keeps the water from running underneath the dam. Um, back in the, the 40s, 50s, uh, what happened a lot of times is a farmer would get a hold of a contractor and he'd go, you know, back then he'd say, I've got $500, build me a pond. Well, the easiest way to build a pond and keep the cost down was just to go in, strip the, the topsoil off, and then start building the dam from there. I don't know how many of them I've been called out on that are leaking because you don't get a good cohesive seal between that natural ground and the fill that you're putting on top of it. If you put that core trench in there, then you get a good cohesive seal that keeps the water from coming in underneath it. Um, we've got uh, some instances, actually we've done it here in Wyandotte County, and we've also done it in Johnson County several times. These old dams that are leaking that way will actually go in with a track hoe and cut a trench in the front toe of the dam and actually put in kind of an after-the-fact core trench. Pack it back in real good, maybe add a little bentonite clay in there, pack it back in, and almost in there, every instance I know that's solved the problem. So it can be done, it's a little more expensive, it's a lot easier to do it when you're building it. But, you know, if you have an existing dam and you're having problems with that leakage, that might be a, a, an answer. Um, really, that's about all I was planning to cover.